Stifler here, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Yeah, we can do that, go ahead. My, like, objectively. Your, your appearance, one to 10. That, this is hard. It's a number, pick up I one have to 10. I have self-esteem issues. You have self-esteem issues? Tell us about your self-esteem issues. I'll tell you that some days it's like a 10 and some days it's a four. Okay. <laughs> So what, what is it now? I think I'm sitting at a solid like six and a half. Okay. Seven. Okay. You know That's what? Self-love, seven. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Go ahead. I think if you're ever going to rate yourself, you should always rate yourself a 10 because you become more attractive when you hear <laughs> how a person thinks. When somebody starts to show you how they think, they're hot, right? Sydney hates this question, but uh, okay, so you think you're a 10. Okay, Sydney, what about you? 10. To Sydney? <laughs> I do it every I thought, time. I thought you would have learned by now. <laughs> do you not agree? That you like say a crappy lesson with it? Yeah, I've learned that part. Okay, so you're still a crappy lesson. It's a fantastic lesson. It doesn't Okay, change. so you're a 10. Yeah. Okay, she's a 10, Jubilee. Seven. Okay. Um, I don't know right now because I had an allergic reaction like a month ago and it still hasn't cleared up that much. Pre, so, let's just say pre-allergic pre -allergic allergic reaction. reaction. But yeah. wait, why isn't she hot with the allergic reaction? It, it, just, it just messes with my self-esteem a lot and I don't yeah, really but nah. like it. <laughs> yeah, but nah. Before, <laughs> before, maybe like a seven and a half. Maybe Kiki, an eight. Kiki? No. Okay, she declines to answer. Uh, <laughs> Brandon? A solid eight. Oh, okay. come on. I give myself now I just look conceited. a <laughs> six, 6.9 on a good day. Oh, you guys. I like the 6.9. <laughs> Does anybody want to revise their answer? I have some uh, makeup remover here if, oh, we can't see that, but. Oh, 6.9. Huh? So some days it's a six, some days it's a nine. Wait, it's upside and down. Wait. No, it's not. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm going to be an 11 if you give me that Neutrogena makeup remover. Because I look better without makeup. I'm not wearing any. Because I'm like nearly 50. You're wearing now. some. I'm wearing eyelashes. Right, I put them on yesterday. Oh, yeah, she did my lashes too. Well, that's... And my nails. Oh, wow. Yeah, by the way, guys, Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee does nails in okay. Santa Barbara. So if you need your nails done, fellas, Mike Davis, <laughs> and you're ever in Santa Barbara, Hit her up. She does. A I'll great do them on the show. I'm doing them on the show. Yeah, she's. I guess she, I'm gonna paint them. Yeah. You, you, oh God. Okay. <laughs> you. It was your idea, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> okay. So okay, we have how many tens at the table? Two. We got two tens at the table. I got a roast. Forgive me, Sydney. And we're both from Sydney. Uh, no, 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 no. Because her name, and, <laughs> and you're from Australia. I'm from Sydney. <laughs> it's a thing. Nice. Okay. So you guys are tens. So that means that there are no women that are more attractive than you, correct? No, because everybody, sh this is just showing you everybody's self-esteem. Like Everyone's I said, a 10? Everyone's a 10 in my books. We are all beautiful and worthy of being in love and loved and all of those things. I just think it upsets me when everybody says that they're lower than a 10. Like, come on, guys. I mean, that's just delusion. <laughs> if well, everyone's a 10, it's just course. delusional. Well, we shouldn't be rating each other in the first place. We should be loving ourselves exactly well, you, the way we are. Well, we all make judgment calls about people's various traits and yeah, either and physical char cool. characteristics or it's yeah. not good? No, not at all. So uh, you, you have no standards or boundaries with when it comes to who you pick to date? The guy said on your looks. Yeah, your looks. So That's just, a huge thing for both men and women. Yeah, I mean, there are things like talent crush, people who make you laugh. You can, you can sure. find somebody so attractive from so many different ways. I mean, I've dated everyone, like somebody who was paraplegic in a wheelchair to dwarfism. I don't care. I just think we're all beautiful and this shit needs to stop. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, that's a very idealistic, I mean, and perhaps you're an outlier, but the fact of the matter is, is that for most people, for both men and women, looks play a pretty major factor yeah, in, I know. in Sad. picking a partner. I, know. I don't think it's sad I think, I, th it's I think you should look at other things too yeah but absolutely That's and so it's true. nice to take care of yourself don't get me wrong I'm a health and wellness expert but at the end of the day our intentions 
and our hearts are what's beautiful. Mm. Bottom line. I'd like to revise my answer then. Good. What? I'm an eight with a great <laughs> ass. I have a really good ass, so I'm gonna round it up. A lot of good fit, assets. Fit check? <laughs> or fit check? I mean, you can't say that and then not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Follow my Instagram. Anyone else wanna revise? I thought you were gonna revise to a 10. But okay, no, but if everyone's a 10, if everyone's a 10, then. Great, what a happy okay, world. Then if, but if, okay, here's the thing. I th okay, if I think I'm a 10, I want to date a Victoria's Secret model. Well, all of a sudden, everyone wants to date someone who thinks they're a 10, right? What? Your confidence is what's attractive about you. You say you're 10, I'm like, fuck, I need that guy now. Because it's your confidence that makes you hot. Uh, yes, sir. No, nah, that's, it's just, that's pride, that's ego, Try that's it. hubris. Try she it. She just kind of got a point, Brian. No, I, I think you should believe in yourself. Yeah. But to the point of delusion I and I think pompous, Sydney said it. I think, sorry, I think Go Sydney ahead. said it one time, fake it till you make it. I mean, yeah. you know, to a certain degree, that is true when it comes down to if you, if you project how other people are going to perceive you based on how you carry yourself with confidence, eventually they're going to have to eat it. They're going to have to accept it because you're not giving them anything else to but chew it's on. because everything's energy. Right. We're right. all energy. Mm -hmm. So the, when you said I'm a 10, even what? though you said, as, you said as a joke, I was like, oh, like I just felt that from you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, and he's talking about it with such, like, do you want to revise your answer? <laughs> no, I still feel like I'm honestly an Brandon, eight. you're a 10. No, I mean, <laughs> Come on. Brandon's a 10. Shake off the tattoos, grow some hair out, slick it back. I would love to hear what all Maybe the viewers. somewhere in the nine ball no, park. You, you do not want no, to hear the viewers. No, you don't. Yeah. Um, I don't think looks or confidence matters. Oh, what matters? Having a driver's license? My ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just looking for somebody to fuck, then yes. Wait, you're asked? Absolutely. That's what matters? What? But if you're looking for someone that you actually want to... I didn't say that. But why did you say that? You said your ass. No, I didn't. You just said... You literally just said <laughs> yeah. my ass. Wait, yes, what? Yes, what? you fucking did. <laughs> I think she drank too much of your wine, Brandon. <laughs> but, um... It's good wine. Okay, I, no, it's but... It's great wine. Okay. Let it go. It's not going to change. I'm going to... I'm... <laughs> Maybe one not, because you do Sydney, this every time. Every Sydney, time. Sydney, one of these days I will... <laughs> then you can rate us. Go ahead. No, hell no, he cannot. <laughs> hell no, he cannot. Sydney, one of these days I'm going to be able to articulate such a convincing Let me point know when you do. and argument okay. that I will, I will be able to change your view on this. Okay. Here, here, let me try. Let me do an attempt. So, you two are tens. Where's the magazine covers? That's the problem with the magazine covers. In case you haven't, I've, been, I've been on, I've been on some billboard covers. Does that count? It's not a magazine, but like billboards. Yeah, for it's my a start. for yeah for Shield um, back at home in Reno Shields. It's like this. Oh huge Reno, sporting goods I mean store. okay. <laughs> now hold on though, because Shields is like Sydney, the largest sporting goods store in the world. <laughs> you're you're a Reno ten. No, but yeah, <laughs> Reno's a little ghetto. But um, no, so Shields is like the largest sporting goods store in the world. Well, we had the largest ones in our in in Reno alone, but it's like in Texas and like multiple states. I got to be on that. That was cool. That's not like a, that was cool. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. Right? All right. I guess you're a supermodel then. Thanks. But okay. If you're, <laughs> here's the thing. Like if you're a 10, then you're not able, you're not, you don't have an accurate self-assessment of where you stand on the sexual marketplace, on the uh, dating marketplace, in the relationship marketplace, in the marriage marketplace. Wow. Not for you. Yeah. Wow. Listen to where his headspace is coming from. No, but from. you just, you don't, have a reasonable okay. assessment of where wow. you stand. Good to know where your headspace is at. Where Where's my headspace at? Exactly where you said it. What? I'm just being realistic here. Is though. that where his confidence is, where he just placed yeah. his headspace? You, and you date at the level of your self-esteem. You want to date a Victoria's Secret model? By the way, they're all different shapes and sizes right now. Okay, but I, look. Well, uh, So this is are the- they? We are, are they doing like the fat We are Victoria's redefining beauty. Right now, we are. Re this is a very old conversation. Delusion, slave mind, <laughs> slave programming. We're redefining we're, beauty. We are rewarding obesity, is what we're doing. Listen, health. Are, you're healthy, talking of, about the like overweight, obese women who are. It doesn't mean that those women aren't beautiful or deserve love. That's and not what I'm saying. Also, but a healthy body looks different on every person. I'm sorry, but if you're obese, you're not healthy. But you can be also fit and lean and not necessarily well. Sure, but if you're obese, you are necessarily unhealthy. But are you hot? 
No. Oh, so sorry, but that's I mean, ouch. That's yikes. <laughs> that's I mean that's my personal view. Okay, I don't so, find. Isn't it, and so sorry. isn't it beautiful that everybody has different tastes in colors, sizes, ages, all that sort of thing? And this is what makes us so gorgeous is because what you think's hot is different. And so when you say rate yourself, this is why I say everybody just needs to rate themselves a ten because what we like, what you like, what everyone likes different things. But most people can probably agree. Most, most. Yes, most, most, most men don't want to date obese women. And I would say most wow. women, most women okay. don't want to date obese men. Okay. Do you realize how unhealthy okay. being obese? How's, the, is, how's this shocking to you for someone to say that? I'm a health and wellness coach. I've seen a lot of people who are very overweight. Who and are unhealthy. Ve- having an amazing sex life, a very healthy relationship. Sure. sure. Even more so than people who look like magazine cover models and not necessarily happy or in loving relationships. I have no problem with people who are overweight or obese, having a partner, finding love. That's what being we're talking happy. about, rating. That's f- no, but that's fine. But you cannot say that someone who's obese is in good health. I didn't say that. We're talking but about rating ourselves in terms of sexual attraction. But you attraction. asked if I was, a, what did you ask if I was attracted to? Yeah, we're talking about sexual attraction. We're not talking about health. You asked if I was attracted to women who are overweight and obese. My no, answer was no. No, I didn't. But it's, it's okay. We're all attracted to different things. What do you want to say, Emma? Go ahead. Come on. Nothing. Then. I have no thoughts. You have thoughts. No, none. You, you've got thoughts. <laughs> No, I like obese people. They're cool. Question. It's not... Oh, let me just finish this. It's not, I don't dislike... I don't dislike... Go I don't Lizzo. Have, I don't have a hatred of obese Hated. people. Canceled. I don't find... I'm not attracted to obese women. That's okay. Why is this a hot take? Like, no, that's not a hot take. And women can have the same exact standard. I don't have a double standard on this. If a woman doesn't want to date... A guy who's obese, that's totally fine. We all have preferences. We all have preferences. Okay. But I don't see why there's such a pushback on me having... See, this is the thing. Men are not allowed to have boundaries, preferences, no, and standards. You, no, you had boundaries and you've told me what you like. And yeah. I also think it's important that you have your own preference. But the point is about rating. We're all talking about okay, rate yourself. We can yourself. go back to rating. Sure. That's, that's why in context, that's what we're talking about. And what I'm saying is the obese woman can be a 10. That's all I'm saying. And, and your preference and your decision is different, but that's what's so beautiful about us all is that we all like different things, but we're all still a 10. I mean, perhaps in, for some people, someone who's obese could be a 10, but there are generalized beauty standards. You can, you can line up 100 people and they can all kind of come to a bit of a consensus over you know, ranking and determining someone's physical attractiveness. And I'd say if you put, if you line up a hundred men, probably 95, 90% of them are going to say, I'm not attracted to women who are overweight I or who are obese. I think it's so sad. It makes me sad. Why? I, I, well, some of my most beautiful friends aren't a size eight and they are stunning. And her partner, for example, is a hot, it's a preference. Tell you what. Yeah. It's tell a you preference. What, as soon as women start dating men shorter than them, fine. <laughs> I have. Fine. I have. The I last have. guy I did cheated on me with his ex. I'm five feet and I have. Good girl. You've no, date, it's not a good girl you've dated thing. A it's guy it's who like, do what you four want. 4'11". Okay, well, I can. I mean, that's like it's, a point. They're hard to find, too. Point zero that are my age percent, that are like percentile. shorter than me. Yeah, no, I know. It's I'm, a very small percentage. I know. Uh, yeah. I'm short. I'm, I'm kind of tiny. But like, you know, like, okay, so I don't know. Okay, but... You're, you're going to tell me that, broadly speaking, women don't have a height preference for men who are Everyone taller than them. Everyone has a different preference. Yeah. You, you guys don't Let want... Her, go, go yell back at her. I'm not of this. <laughs> I'm not yelling. I'm just like, <laughs> we're having a debate here. I, I, I said we move on. I don't no, no, no we'll continue. <laughs> you continue. Like, you I, wanted debates. You wanted different opinions. No, I'm not upset. I'm just engaging in the debate. Good. But it, okay. And I don't know who your audience is, but I'm sure that there are some people that are overweight... And it's important for them to understand that they're also a 10. And that's what I care deeply about. You're not... No, okay. Because you're basically <laughs> labeling them that they should rate themselves. Whoever asked that question, they're the ones that we should be <laughs> yelling at. Okay, so... we shouldn't be rating ourselves. I mean, if you want to break down... If you, if you want to break down the rating thing, we can look at face. We can look at physique. Mm-hmm. We can look at various Getting factors. Worse. 
it's getting worse. It's not worse. I mean, we all make these sorts of judgments. It's a natural human well, process. Well, I, I, I met a guy with dwarfism. He, uh, he like, you want to break him down? He's one of the hottest men that I've met since I've been in L.A. He's got the most beautiful heart. And he said to me at the I'm age sure. of 11, he considered committing suicide. And he is so glad that he's still around today. And that conversation I had with him on the red carpet of a pre-Emmy soiree has stuck with me now because that is hot. Somebody who decides to love himself and rates himself a 10 and decided not to take his life. That's hot. I'm not, I'm not advocating people <laughs> should delete themselves if they don't consider themselves a 10. But like, let's be realistic here. Most women are not going to date a guy who is a dwarf. Whoa, okay, that needs to stop. What? No, I, 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 well, I agree with him. Most I women, a general so here's the thing. But yes, and so if you believe that, then why not use your platform in a positive way to change that? Because that's the reason why that guy wanted to take his life at people, the age of 11 in the first place. On an, because of this conversation. On an individual level, people are free to have the preferences, standards, and boundaries they want. Some women... I'm not telling you to date him or die. I'm just saying consider him as an attractive person when you get talking to him. But attraction... When you say attraction, that's something that somebody else feels. Yep. Nobody is owed attraction i know but that's the Nobody's problem is owed. we don't give I don't men a owe, chance sydney doesn't so many owe women, me her know, attraction so many women emma doesn't don't give owe me men her. a chance because they won't even get to know them just have a conversation think, and watch their eyes light up physical right now we're right? talking yeah we're talking about okay. physical i just want to make sure because oh my god you guys are so <laughs> no well you're like I, I, it's not <laughs> shallow we're also it's just like shallow. we're talking here about physical and then you're like agree with your points but like you're coming in and you're just like oh well like you know this gentleman was talking about this and he almost took his life at that like his heart was so beautiful like we're just talking like physical lines okay so you said we're shallow it the conversation is becoming shallow yeah do you have fake tits do you, what about how before we <laughs> Are, went do you have plastic what surgery? about before we went on air you told me to take off my jacket I'm not criticizing. No, because you know what sells. You're a smart I, guy. I know what sells, yeah. and it's. I put the heater on, so it was going to get hot. Exactly, but so I can take off my clothes. You're talking. I'm not. I'm smart. I know what's going on. I'm 50, man. Like, okay, but seriously. You, you're accusing us of being shallow, and I'm asking I if you have plastic surgery. That you find that this to be one of my most attractive qualities. I'm a NAS guy. First but off. what I'm saying <laughs> is that when w. you get. But if you if you have a if you have a BBL, it's a wrap. I don't. No BBLs for me, natural. Let's talk about your dick. Oh, wow. <laughs> let's I don't want I'm okay. Let's pass over that. that. Okay. Let's, I yeah. am okay. We're done here. <laughs> I think you guys are doing great bantering, though. We can leave <laughs> if you would bantering. like. No, I think I'll leave and you can all talk out. Is that going. No, I'm, but okay, you've accused, here's the thing. You've accused, <laughs> you've accused me. You've accused some of the other accused people. Accused of what? Of being shallow. I'm saying the conversation is getting shallow if we keep talking but, about only superficial. But that's just the, the flow of the conversation. And I'm okay. asking, you're, you're talking about superficiality, but you have plastic surgery. No. I'm not saying that. I don't think I, we should use plastic surgery against that. I think it's all it's also an age gap thing. Yeah, that that's we're exactly all right. in our 20s. So, yes, we, we are superficial I'm and 30, shallow. I'm 33. Bro. This well, is the wisest thing that has been 40. said so far. I'll be, I'll be real. I'm 22. I like looks i like things that are there's nothing that look wrong good with that. i like hot guys i like hot girls and that's the stage of life that i'm in right now maybe in th two or three decades i will be looking for someone with a golden heart right now i'm looking for not that but there, yo, there's <laughs> nothing there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that i don't think there's anything wrong with it either no. and and you know what she's right that's really an intelligent answer because when you do live a little bit more life and you go through a lot of hardship trauma life experience whatever it is that you go through you start to realize what's important that was the 